Hi guys, for this video I'm going to show you how to uninstall custom firmware from your 3DS. This will remove boot 9 strap and Luma 3DS and restore your device to stock firmware. Just keep in mind this is not for troubleshooting your custom firmware installations and if you have any critical system software modify to your 3DS such as editing the home menu and unbanning your console carry on uninstalling the custom firmware might break your device insert the SD card to the PC and what we need to do now is download the latest version of God Mode 9 I will leave the link in the description so download the zip file for God Mode 9 now I'm going to put the file over to my 3DS so I will open a file with 7-zip here's my SD card what we need to do from here is go to Luma payload so we're going to copy gotmote9.firm to the payload folder on our 3DS so click replace the file now go back get back to the root of your SD card and copy the GM9 folder to the root of your SD card click replace So we're done with the SD card, you can now safely remove the SD card from your PC. And I see you got on my 3DS. Insert the SD card to the 3DS. And we want to launch Cotmo 9. So hold start and power on the 3DS. The first thing we need to do is do a safety test to make sure everything go well before we do the uninstall process. So go to SysNAN, CTR NAN. Go to Title. Go to the 40138 folders. For the new 3DS, I will be selecting the 02 folder. If you have an old 3DS, you'll be selecting the 00 folder. So I'm going to go into the 02 folder. Then go to content. At this point, we want to select the .app file, so press A, and from the bottom screen, we want to select NCCH image options, then select mount image to drive, press A to confirm. Now open the exefs folder. In the folder we want to select the .firm file. At the bottom screen select firm image options. And then select boot firm. Press A to confirm. And we will get a prompt asking to decrypt and make a copy press A to continue at this screen we want to make a copy so select make a copy so if your 3DS boot back to your 3DS home screen you can continue with the uninstall process 
if your 3DS does not boot back to your regular 3DS home screen, please do not continue with the uninstall process. You may have a chance to boot your 3DS console. Just before we carry on with our uninstalling process, if you have any game saved, you need to back up, use your safe manager, and we need to uninstall all the unsigned application and emulators and games on our 3DS. So first thing we need to do is go to settings. And go to data management. Go to 3DS. Go to software. And then from here we uninstall all our applications and emulators. So press delete. On my console I already have so many applications and games installed. So I will skip the video. So once you uninstall all the emulators and games, go back. Go to extra data and remove whatever is in there. And go back, go back, go to DSiWare, tap the SD, nothing left, go back. Back, close the system setting menu, and power off our 3DS. At this point, we're going to continue uninstalling our 3DS custom firmware. So, what we need to do is launch God Mode 9 by holding start and power on the 3DS so once you're on the screen press the home button to bring up the bottom screen and select script press A select GM9 mega script Select Hack Options Select Uninstall Hack And if you get a warning, just press A to process And when you get the screen asking you to unlock the system, just press A again to unlock. And then you get the red screen coming up. Just put in your combination key. Left, down, left, up, left, right, and A. So now we're getting a message saying custom firmware uninstalled successful. A again to continue, B to go back to the main menu, select exit. Now we're getting a message asking us to relock the sysname, so press A to relock. Now we can press start to reboot our 3DS. So now we have successfully uninstalled our custom firmware from the 3DS. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.